Yo, what's good cryptocurrency fans out there? Welcome back to the Everything Altcoin channel. Today we're going to be talking about a potential 100x gem coming from Polka Starter, guys. It is called Real River, uh, not Real River, Real Fever, sorry, Real Fever. And this is looking like it's going to be a pretty good NFT project, guys. Before we get into talking about that, I would like to ask you guys to subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. We're on the road to 10k subscribers, so if you guys would like to be a part of that and be a part of the 10k subscriber giveaway, hit that red subscribe button. Don't forget to like the video, comment anything in the comment section down below, and most importantly, hit that bell button to get notified every time I upload a new video. And lastly, check out the description and the comment section down below for the Discord and the Patreon. The Patreon has a new tier regarding private sales. Remember that. So if you guys would like to be a part of certain projects, private sales, just join the Discord, ask your questions on how it works, and we can get the ball rolling. And let's get right into the video, guys. So Royal Fever will be coming out on PokerStarter at the time right now. It's to be determined. Um, as you guys can see, it's here as an upcoming pool. That's going on to their website here. Um, football everlasting NFT moments. So for you guys that are fans for fans of soccer slash football, this is going to be something pretty big for you guys. Honestly, I do feel like this has potential to be great, especially internationally great. Right. We've seen the we've seen the success that NBA Top Shots has had. And NBA is not as basketball itself is not as big as soccer slash football is around the world right and if nba top shot had their own token um it would have probably did a way over 100x especially how things is moving um new youtube channels been started off at nba top shots and they were able to get their own like somewhat of a licensing deal with nba so they had fan nba players actually go on there open nba top shot packs and I can see the same thing happening with Real Fever, guys. But this will be for soccer uh, instead of basketball. And I see that this will have a bigger traction than an NBA Top Shot actually did. Um, they will have licensing for soccer players. So this is going to be something huge. So let's go look at more about the project here. And they actually did say that they, I think they're coming out Friday. Um, I will look at their tweet soon here. <clears throat> so as you guys can see. It is the fever token, the fuel for the best football NFT marketplace. Um, you guys can scroll here and check on that. And you can see the fever ecosystem and how it works. So you can have you can compete in games here. So you got free leagues, then you got token leagues, so competition organizers, advertisers, and sponsorship. Uh real fever premium subscription, wager commission. So you guys can like collect cards and play against um collect NFT cards. Um, of these football players and compete against other players then you got the marketplace the collectible marketplace you know you got the first sell lending then stake in here right so scrolling down a little bit as per their business model real fever real fever's business model is composed of various moving parts not only can fans play free fantasy leagues and token leagues but also purchase video collectibles collectible packs that will award them a unique ip protected digital soccer nft to acquire and trade for these forever lasting soccer moments fans need to use the real fever token fever so that basically tells you how the token is going to be used and why the the, the token has the utility it has then you got the first pack revenue share after possessing uh fever tokens in their binance smart chain address fans can acquire digital collectible packs the fee distribution per account will follow as 50% for right holders, 40% locked for <clears throat> sorry for unspecified amount of time, and 10% for real fever. Then you got the fee and royalties. All fever real fever digital collectible marketplace transactions incur in a maximum 5% fee. Loyalty programs will be implemented to reward fans who buy and sell on a recurring basis. Next, you got the subscription fees, subscription model. They got the borrowing and lending here. So instead of just selling digital assets in the marketplace, fans can uh, can borrow and lend video collectibles from other fans. When a fan lends a video collectible, he gets extra fever tokens. When a fan borrows a video collectible, he will pay fever tokens to the other fan. However, because this asset, the asset is returned to the original owner, the amount charged will be more 
uh, much more affordable. Then you got any club launch pad. Well, you got clubs launch pads. Any club can join Fever, Real Fever's ecosystem and deploy their own collectible that will immediately trade in the Fever marketplace and get exposed to all market users. So essentially any soccer, football club can actually, you know, launch their own collectibles. And that's pretty great. That actually makes it, that entices, you know, clubs, club uh, owners to actually participate in this. You got in game video collectibles and fantasy leagues, which we already talked about, right? <clears throat> so, as for the tokenomics, <clears throat> excuse me, so the tokenomics it will be launched on Binance Smart Chain through Ideal Platform, which we talked about was uh, Polka Starter. So, the team will hold 10%, private sale will be 11%, public sale ideal will be 4%. And new right accusation uh, acquisition will be 35 treasury 20 liquidity will be 20 percent and this is the uh, distribution model for everything essentially <clears throat> so of course you already know public sale gets 100 percent of their tokens at tdg and private sale gets 20 percent um on first month then three months then you got the investing period here for 80 percent which will be 12 months seems like i think i got that right after uh yeah Yep, got that right. Then, as you guys can see, this the utility we talked about. You can buy packs, trade moments, subscription pool, club launch pads, peer to peer NFT lending, fantasy token leagues. And then, here is their roadmap. Here, let's see, we're in quarter two. We're just about to end quarter two. So, they're going to have the IDO, pack pre orders, liquidity mining, collectible marketplace. Then, quarter three, they will have the fever pack subscriptions. And then quarter four, you will have the club launch pad, right? And here's the team. They're public for you guys that you can actually get to see. Uh, Fred will be the CEO here. And Andre is the executive chairman. Scrolling down a little bit more. These are the advisors that you can see here. And these are the partners. A lot, I know you, a lot of you guys are fans of B-Pro. So they're partners with B-Pro. These are a few football leagues. And of course, Poker Starter, which they're they're going to be launching on, um, and then you got Sports Connect, Binance Smart Chain News, Morningstar Ventures. We've seen this already a lot. Um, then you got Moon Rock Capital, IR Twenty One Capital. So they got some decent partnerships here, as you guys can see. So I'm pretty much excited for this um, right now. It is definitely looking to be good because I I played, well I didn't play, but I. have uh, you know i participated in nba top shots and i've seen the success that nba top shots have and i do believe that real fever can have that same success maybe even bigger just because it's soccer and football and that's a uh, that has a huge fan base bigger than nba itself so it's more international so a lot of people as of right now sitting at a dollar and eight cents um i remember a lot of you guys could not afford it when it was a lot higher and then they changed the tier made it a little bit much made it a little bit easier but made it more of a little lottery kind of thing now right but now the lottery itself they're just a, a barrier to entry for poker starter is cheap so for 250 poker starter tokens you need, it's only going to be 270 dollars so you multiply that by four right you get yourself thousand uh poles that's that's essentially three thousand uh, one thousand eight hundred one thousand and eighty dollars right and if you go back to the original uh, amount that you needed for polls, it would be three thousand two hundred and forty dollars as of right now. So if you guys, I know the market is bad. I know the market is bad, but the barrier to entry for a poker starter right now is fairly cheap, and possibly not a, a lot of people will be interested in possibly like you know trying to get into it. They don't know because the market. This would be the time for you guys to capitalize on a poker starter IDO. We know poker starter IDOs perform fairly well, right? So this to me does have a hundred X potential, but let me know what you guys think though. Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. And if you guys haven't subscribed already yet, please do so. We're on the road to 10 K. So if you guys want to help out with that, you guys already know what to do. Hit that red subscribe button. Don't forget to like the video, comment anything in the comment section down below. And most importantly, hit that bell button to get notified every time I upload a new video. And I'll check you guys later. Peace YouTube.